and act out all kinds of stories. You should come, FBCUM, to my show. <laughs> he tweeted. After Jill Scott's show, most people get splendidly laid by whomever they come with. Uh, C-U-M again. Hashtag, if they don't F it up. Hashtag, stop fronting. <laughs> you suck dick too. <laughs> um, For real, unfortunately, stop unfortunately, I, I looked it up on multiple sites. At, I went to Ticketmaster, I went to StubHub, I went to JillScott.com. There are no upcoming shows or tour dates listed, so therefore, uh, you got to get it where you get it, people. I was trying to help you out, but um, yeah, there's no upcoming. But I'm going to keep you posted, you know, just in case, you know, start, she throws something out there, you know, she might make an appearance at somebody else's show. I'm going to keep you posted, you know. I like to help people out, you know, I want, I want you to to get laid, so yeah, I'll help man. you out. And they say they say a lot of bi- a lot of bigger women was getting a lot of play. And like I told old boy the other night, if yeah. the bigger woman was the one who was stimulating the oral, to me it seems like the men would be, oh, oh, I got you, I got you. The bigger woman was getting the play because, but then I also saw, you know, I I saw a lot of women on social media stating, you know. They've always had that. It's just your dumb men been sleeping. You, you just been sleeping. Who are you that there? You know. Oh, yeah, man. I actually um. Good. This is a this is a fun fact. I don't want to get out too much. I, I lost my. Susan. What's her name? Big yeah. Susan. Big. <laughs> and big girls be big girls be doing it. Look, man. I'm for real. I lost my virginity to a big girl. This. My dumb ass almost said me too. <laughs> <laughs> No, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Yeah, man, her right. big ass laid it on me. Yeah, you know, I don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, lady. Woo. Thank you, Auntie Jill. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, it wouldn't be, you know, a show without us talking about 6 9 Style. I got a lot of stuff about 6 9 Woo. So, cops arrested yeah. suspect who reported me pistol whip and kidnapped Takashi 6 9 earlier this year. 6 9 was involved in a burglary where men reportedly pistol whipped him. I thought that shit was false. You know, he probably made it up or something, but apparently not. Um, they pistol whipped him and briefly kidnapped him, um, if you remember. Um, since the incident, authorities have found one of the suspects they believe played a huge role in the crime. According to TMZ, feds arrested Anthony Jamel Ellison last week. And the grand jury has indicted him on one count of conspiracy to obstruct commerce by robbery, one count of obstructing commerce by robbery, and one count of carrying a firearm to commit a crime. <clears throat> well, I don't know if you've been following um, the Black China and Rob Kardashian drama, but it was rumored that Rob Kardashian was seeking to have his child support of $20,000 a month Bruh. Now, you know, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back to that. <laughs> Lowered for two-year-old daughter, Dream Kardashian, with his ex-fiance, Black China. After flexing for the gram the other day, showing off all her, you know, her huge mansion and her three rides, cause she was saying, you know, she didn't, she got all that on her own. She didn't get it from child support. According to TMZ, Sources connected to litigation for both Rob and Black China confirmed that a judge has suspended Rob's child support payment. China is not receiving money from Rob at the moment. Then I saw something earlier that Rob Rob the move back in with his mama. Damn. Rob got a little stock company or something, and apparently he used he used social media to do a lot of his promotions. Well. Um, so I kind of didn't want him on social media because she felt like he was always talking about their relationship or their past relationship or whatever. So a part of their agreement was that he wouldn't be on social media. But then I, I guess he didn't think about the fact that that's what his company, he used social media to 
get his promotions out. Well, I would have had somebody else doing my promotion. Like, I would have had to broke somebody off for $50 or <laughs> got one of these companies to do my promotions mm-hmm. or whatever. But they, the Kardashians are very smart because, you know, however they had it worked out, you know, he's saying that he has less than $300,000 to his name right now is what he's saying. Um, but either way, you know, he's moved back into his mom's house and Chris was cited saying, you know, something I I don't bother trying to get into, you know, what they talk about. But it's the fact that, you know, she was on Instagram like a couple of days ago, I want to say like Thursday, you know, just posting her house and her three cars and, you know, mm-hmm. saying that she was self-made, like, you know, saying that she didn't get child support, like even that Tiger wasn't giving her child support for her older child. And, yeah, I know Tiger. You know, yeah. Yeah, so that, that everything that she got, you know, that she got on her own. But $20,000 a month for one child, I had to be helping to make them payments yeah. on the vehicles. Because I'm not talking about, I ain't talking about driving no Ford, no Chevrolet, you know what I'm right. saying? Right, some nice shit. <laughs> yeah. Man, if, so, I was a, if I was a baby mama, I would let it be known. Fuck all that. I'd be the, I'd be the annoying baby mama. Yes, yeah, you pay for this. Ah, 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 child support. Ah, ah. That would be me as a baby mama. Like, I would embrace that shit. Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me pause. Let me pause for a minute. Let me pause for a minute. All right. So I'm in here, right, the other night. Everybody who knows me knows, you know, I'm, um, I'm pretty... I'm pretty low key until uh-huh. it pisses off, right? Okay, so let me hear the other night trying to work or something. I don't know what I was doing. My doorbell rung, and okay, so I'm like, oh, no, maybe the kids ordered something. Probably gonna use my car to pay for some food or something. Nobody told me that, right? So I'm like, hmm, don't hear nobody talking. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, you know. They thing I might hear is man talking, right? So I'm like, hmm, this is real good. Because, you know, it could be my daughter boyfriend, but nah. So it's like 8 o'clock. He know, you know, he don't be over here that late. So I'm listening real good. I recognize the voice. My ex-husband. <clears throat> I've seen this nigga since January. Okay? So I should have prayed before I got up. Yeah. But um, I took off my jacket. I took that long walk, you know, down my hallway. Stepped down the living room. You know, he trying to help my oldest son, you know, fix his little skates up. My two younger kids, they got to just chinning and grinning like everything is coaster, right? I had his bookcase, right? That's um in between, like, where he was sitting at and where I walked through, right? So the first thing that popped in my head was I like, grabbed the bookcase. Grabbed the bookcase and slammed it on his damn head. Grabbed the bookcase, right? But my daughter looked up and smiled at me, and that's the only thing that stopped me from grabbing the bookcase. <laughs> so I said, sir, you ain't even supposed to be in my house. You're not allowed here. Right? So he, he, he jumped up, and he was like, you know what? I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. So I'm like, why the fuck did you even do? You know what? So, come on. Let me grab him by the arm. Come on. Let me escort you out the door. Come on. Come on. Had to push him out, you know? So close the door. And then I had to go up on my kids. Like, you don't let strangers in the house. You know, you don't do that. You don't let strangers in the house. You know, I said all that to say, the $20,000 a month just threw me. Like, I, don't, I mean, that's not what mine, you know, my amount isn't $20,000 <laughs> a month. But I'm just saying, because I got a girlfriend who, nah, she's supposed man. to get like sixty. Look, I got a girlfriend who's supposed to get like a dollar sixty-eight a month. She can't even get that. Okay. <laughs> you know, I can't get my now. If I'm paying that much in child support, I'm gonna be an asshole, man. Like, it's hard not to be resentful and with that type of amount. Shit, every time I'm with my kid, your mom's a bitch. You fucking you know? mom, a bitch. Yo. <laughs> when you get older, you gonna understand what I'm talking about. Like for real. And my like, my kid has to be salty. You're sick. Yo. Bruh, they had the nerve to be salty with me, like, for 24 hours. And I'm trying to explain. Like, girl, um, 
look, this is senior year, and I, I, I tabulated everything. Like today, you put it in her little folder, you know, because I want you to know this senior year alone, we ain't even talking about, you know, just like, like monthly expenses that mom takes care of. We just talking about senior year alone, like just all these applications, like $65, like $75, like $50, like all your pictures, you know what I'm saying, like your class ring, prom, boy, mm, we not even, oh, girl, if you don't get on my face and sit the hell down, mm-mm. No, and y'all mad because I keep this nigga out my house. <laughs> we graduation time will be funny as hell. You know what I mean? Graduation will be funny as hell. Yeah, and every time they give you like opportunities to get like extra tickets or whatever, they for my family. You know, <laughs> they for my family. So moving along, y'all just mom, dad. If you're supposed to pay your little child support, just pay it. I, I'm not vindictive yeah, for the hell. Pay it, man. Mm-hmm. I'm not vindictive for the hell of it. I'm not. And I ain't really nah. vindictive, you know. I'm just saying. It's, do what you're supposed to do, you know. And if you're not going to pay it, get you a disability case with the state, and then Yo! you don't have to pay. It's free no, listen, listen, how you can lock up everybody, how you can, everybody else, I don't know how your state works, but in this state, if you get to a certain point, if you be, like, in arrears for a certain amount, like, they supposed to come and lock your ass up. I don't understand how certain people bypass getting locked up. I don't, I don't understand that. Or they, they, like, I think it's, like, different steps. Like, first you, they, they garnish your wages. There you go. Then they take your driver's license. Then they lock you up. Like, My nigga miss all them stuff. They just be like, oh, mm-mm. like they see him under the rug. Like, mm-mm. I don't know. I don't know. Moving right along. We still on Wednesday. So, all right. Takashi six nine again. Um, he strikes a plea deal in his assault case involving an NYPD officer. Now, I thought this was funny as hell. All right, so he entered a guilty plea, um, to disorderly conduct on Wednesday morning. Um, in a Brooklyn courtroom. In return, prosecutors dropped the misdemeanor charges, uh, the misdemeanor assault charge that uh, he was facing. Now, back in May, he was busted for driving with a suspended license. During the arrest, he allegedly squeezed an officer's hand. (laughs) So that's assault now, if you squeeze somebody's hand? Yes. He must have squeezed the blood. He must have drew blood. New York doing some bullshit. When it yeah, comes to the disorderly conduct, uh, the judge gave him a conditional discharge. I just need him to go somewhere and sit the hell down. Just sit down. The work from home. Do your, your, you know, record from home and do all your performances from home and upload them or some shit. I don't know. Young Thug is out of jail. I've seen that. I've seen that. I didn't even know he was in jail. Um, he had been locked up for the past six days. Um, Jeffrey failed the drug test, um, but he has been released on the condition that he has to submit to random drug tests at least twice a week and get treatment for his addiction. And he was in court, and he was whining. And, you know, he came to the realization, like, the first two days he was there, um, he stayed, like, in a corner. And he, he didn't eat. You know, that was his punishment. Um, to himself yeah. for allowing, you know, himself to revert back to drugs. And, you know, he says in the court to the judge, you know, I have a 10-year-old and I have an 11-year-old son, and I don't want them to think that drugs are cool because they're not. And I don't want them to think that going to jail is cool, even if it is for a short amount of time. I don't want them, you know, them to think that, you know, that's the way out. So I'm going to get out and I'm going to do what I got to do. So good luck. Young thug. Yeah, man. Niggas always do that. Like, they be talking the most shit until they get locked up. You know how I do. Right. Say hi every right. day. This one ain't no corporal. <laughs> I've come to the realization of my <laughs> action. <laughs> and I've decided to be a law abiding a citizen that I need to make sure I make smarter decisions with the mind. I have a 10 year old African American male son. And he would not 